So one of the coolest things that you can do in Photoshop is what we call Photoshop light rays and we can create them using um, some of the tools that Photoshop provides. And what I want to do here is show you this method because I think it's really fun, it's really neat to know how to do and utilize for your projects. But we're going to build some light rays kind of coming out of this generalized area up top and casting into the scene now that we've built. And I think once we complete that we can uh, pretty much call it even with this and uh, move forward into the typography. So um, first what we got to do is uh, we'll open up uh, any image that we uh, we have and um, uh, create a new layer by clicking on the new layer icon at the bottom of the uh, layer menu and name it light ray. So real quick in Photoshop we're just going to go to the very top layer select this layer and then when I create a new layer it creates a layer above it so I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to name this uh, light rays and then right here uh, step two set your color palette to default white uh, white foreground black background and go to the menu bar and uh, go to filter render clouds and hit enter so we're looking at basically at the uh, the uh, the color palette area so over here I'm going to now click on the first swatch on my left then I'm going to go to white remember you can type in all 255 which works and then the second swatch if I select it I'm going to go 000, zero down on the RGB and I'm going to click OK and then based off the directions it says with that said and done go to the uh, menu bar and select filter render clouds so we go to filter render clouds okay and when that is, is done, um, we're going to get this little uh, image that appears over everything. So moving forward, uh, step three, go to your menu bar and select image adjustment threshold and click OK. Uh, a little box comes up, so image adjustments threshold. And we are threshold submenu appears. And then it says uh, uh, go to filter. Uh, blur radial blur so we say okay and then we immediately go to filter blur radial blur and when this happens we're able to position where we want that radial to blur from and the amount is 84 uh, blur method zoom and quality is good so uh, uh, I'm going to click uh, the amount to 84. And then I'm going to say uh, blur method is zoom. And uh, quality is good. And I'm going to click OK. Now when this is done, and because I was able to position where I wanted it to go, there it is. And so Um, noticed how I took the icon and clicked and dragged it and placed it where I wanted it to be uh, based off of where that light was cast in the scene. And then um, all you have to do is go to your blending modes and use the soft light. So I'm going to have this on top. I go to my blending modes, which is right here, switch to soft light, and now we have that radial layer that we can do pretty much anything we want with it. So. Uh, I'm looking at the light. It looks like it's kind of coming in right here. So this is really going to help with the eerie look of the scene. I can go to Edit, Transform, Scale. Again, we don't normally want to scale larger, but because this is a Photoshop effect, we can do it. And um, I'm going to add, a, a again, a, a blur effect to it to minimize the pixelation. And let's say I want this to kind of cast out from right here. I'll click the selectional tool. I'll hit apply. I will immediately go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Uh, you can see what it's already doing. So I can blur how much I want of that. Uh, click OK. I'll, I'll do like 22. That's fine. Looks good.
with this finish. And then I can actually go in and um, uh, we can lower the opacity. Again, right here. Drop the opacity down on those light rays to minimize it just a little bit, but kind of still create the effect. That looks good. Another cool thing we can do is, um, again, with this layer selected, I go to Image, Adjustments. Let's say I want to add some curves in there. Instead of it just being white, let's say I want to add like, uh, I don't know, let's do, I guess, the cyan from the light rays. Kind of bring some of those colors in. And that looks pretty good. I'll take these light rays. Um, I could add a layer mask to cut this out. I think I will instead of the eraser this time. So I'll add a layer mask. And then I'll go to the brush tool. And up top, since it's uh, black, I'm just going to go ahead and knock some of these light rays out at the top. I don't want it to expand too far in because this is where we've got to put our movie titles. Okay. All right, nice. Back to selection tool and uh, voila. <laughs> That's fun, right? Um, so next section, I'm going to teach you how to use typography. And we're going to get some movie titles up here and we're going to incorporate the uh, movie title block at the bottom too. Keep in mind that you can uh, go to my LinkedIn page at linkedin.com if you would like to uh, link up with me and uh, have me as a uh, resource and a reference in your uh, list of contacts. You can uh, send me a message at my LinkedIn and uh, that will reach out to my Yahoo email, uh, hence my uh, Gmail accounts, and uh, I can always be there to help you. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, look forward to working with you.